Hi there ladies, welcome back to my channel, it's Manisha here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a new product that's come out on the market. Um, great for all you gel lovers out there um, that want to use gel polishes but don't want to have the hassle of having to remove or soak or steam or whatever to get your gel polish off your nails. So this is a new product launch from EC Cosmetics and they very kindly sent me out their new magic gel remover. So this this is a um, product, looks like um, one of their other gel polishes. It comes in a 10 milliliter bottle and um, it, this is what it looks like. So it's clear, but it has got a, like a little bit of kind of um, smokiness or um, I don't know, I'm not very good at describing things anyway, but yeah, it's got a little bit of thickness to it and um, I'll just has got a little bit of an odour but it's not really strong or anything like that. I only sort of noticed it when I brought it right up to um, to smell it. So I'm going to be using that today. So what I've done on my nails because I thought I'll well, give this a really good test and I'm going to try it out with lots of different brands of um, gel polish. So on my thumb I've just used um, EC Cosmetics One Step Gel Polish. So with One Step Gel Polishes um, you don't need a base or a top coat so um, I've just sort of gone ahead and done two coats of that and cured it. On my um, pointer finger I've got a hollow polish and this is what I've used on there. So I've got Rosalind base and top coat and in between I've done two coats of R04 which is a holographic polish. I'll list all of these down below. Um, next one I've got is um, I thought I'd do a cream gel polish. So I've used Model 1's base and top coat and for the gel colour I've used Cherry. And then on my um, ring finger I've got this really um, pretty sort of glitter polish. And what I've used on that one is these two base and top coat. And then I've used Nail Life, um, you know, 05. That's also from EC Cosmetics as well. So if you want to check that out, got a, I actually got a $1 off discount code um, for EC Cosmetics. So I will be listing that for you down below. And then on my um, pinky. If I can get the camera to focus because there's a lot of glitter. I've got a more of a chunky glitter on that one. I thought it'd be quite good just to have a bit of a comparison um, with lots of different things. So I've gone ahead and done Madame Glam's base and top coat. And then I've done one coat of the gel polish called Velvet Queen. And then I've done one coat of, um, that's the Spirit, so that's like a glitter polish. And then obviously I've gone over the top with um, Madame Glam's gel top coat. So these are all fully cured in the lamp. They're um, ready to be removed now. So this is so you've, you know, finished with your design, you want to remove it now. They do recommend to file the, um, the glossy part off your um, design and you normally do that if you're going to be soaking off anyway. So I've got a buffing block um, and I'll just buff the, the shine off these and um, and if that doesn't work I will just use an R-file and I'll meet you back anyway just so you don't have to watch all the boring bits. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, pop on the Magic Remover Gel on all the nails and then I'm just going to start the, um, if I can get it to it, the stopwatch and just see how long it takes for it to start sort of bubbling up. Um, move that, I just don't want to get that light shining. I'll move it across once I've got it on there. So we're just going to start with the thumbnail. So it kind of has look, looks like it's a bit gritty, but um, it's kind of going on really easily. You just kind of just pop it on. I'm assuming I'm doing this right because I haven't actually tried, um, tested this off camera or anything like that. So just try and get with you guys, see how it goes. And I'm glad I've actually popped it over to um, different types of gel polish because everybody's got different sorts in their collection. We don't always have all the same gels and some brands of base and top coats and gel polishes might work a bit differently from um, other brands. So last one going on here. And right, that'll do. And then I'm just gonna press start. So we'll see, see what's happening. Just kind of hold that up there. You guys can get a bit of an idea. 
don't like that light shining. I'm really sorry. My um, I've just had to change my camera setup a little bit, and um, and I'm just videoing it with my iPad. So you can see there's a little bit of something happening here on the thumb. It's a bl bit of blistering. It's only been probably about I'd say be about 40 seconds because I did that nail first. Nothing happening on the other ones yet. But I was just having a quick read up on it on their um, on their actually on the AliExpress store because I've got a direct link for there, and it says um, between three and five minutes. So I'm hoping that's how long it's going to take for each nail to um, for it to release from the nail. Um, there's a little bit more that's happened here on the thumbnail. So I'm just going to let it continue and I might just fast forward this next bit but I'll just kind of stay in frame for you. Okay so I'm, uh, I'm back here after the three minute mark and we can see lots of progress here on the thumbnail but very little happening on the other nails so I'm just going to um, have a bit of a play I'll just leave that um, sorry just wanted to get this um, just to have a little bit of a scrape on that one and that's actually pretty much just kind of falling off I'm not um, forcing it off or anything like that and that's actually just coming off quite easily. Um, there's a few stubborn bits just here and here. Doesn't seem to, probably could force it off, but I'm not going to. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit more of the product and just see whether that helps at all. So it's really easy to apply. Obviously it just goes on just how you would do like nail polish get that bit off my skin and doesn't seem to be anything happening on these other nails so I'm just going to have a bit of a scrape no nothing I'm wondering if when I buffed it I didn't actually take the shine off it and I probably should have taken um, more off it with the um, sorry I'm concentrating on what I'm doing Probably should have used the nail file to um, take some of that off. So what I'm going to do is just um, take that off and then buff it and with the nail file and then I'm going to come back and pop some more on and give it another go. Okay, so I'm back. So what I've done is I've just um, filed them off a little bit more with a um, nail file. So I'm just going to be popping more of the product on. Anyway, I'm just going to reset that and we'll just start that again.
Okay, so as you can see, I've got the polish off these other ones. Now they were a little bit on the stubborn side. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm thinking it must have been down to the fact I didn't actually um, file them properly to start with. But anyway, the um, gel polish has pretty much come off. You know, I'll just have to just tidy them off off camera. But the, the thumbnail that came off straight away and that was just the one step one. Now this one is still fighting and it just does not want to come off. So I'm assuming it's a combination of a really, really good top coat and base coat and a gel polish. It's just the combination of it. It just does not want to come off. Um, I've had the product on there for quite a while. And I mean parts of it have come off. But then there's still a lot of it that hasn't. So, um, yeah, not sure what's going on there. I mean, I can kind of get it off with my other nail, but then that's not always ideal. But it just seems to um, be quite clingy. I mean, I have got on these two here, I've got a hard gel on underneath because I had some breakages. Um, but, I mean, it still came off the um, middle finger. But just this one here seems to be really stubborn. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm, I'm just going to put it down to the actual gel polish itself. Um, I'm probably going to end up filing it off or something like that anyway now to get it off. Um, I haven't actually really used these um, holographic gels so I'm not really sure whether they, they're stubborn to take off normally so I'm assuming that they will be. Um, but anyway, that gives you a bit of an indication on how um, how cool this product is. I do like it and I think I'll be using it more for one steps. But um, with regular polishes, regular gel polishes too, just make sure that you do file it off. I mean, that one had a real chunky glitter on it and, um, and it has definitely come off. So just be a little bit patient with it. Probably needs a good five minutes um, for it to do its thing. Um, but anyway, I do um, think it's quite a cool thing and that's definitely going to be a game changer for me. I'm going to be using that whenever I do gel polish um, manis because I don't know about you guys, I just hate, absolutely hate sitting there soaking off my gel um, polishes and that's why I don't tend to wear gel as much as I'd like to. Um, I can't be bothered sitting there with a the steamer. I have actually um, discovered Orly um, Gel FX, which is a um, base coat, which is a fast removing base coat. So I'll probably end up using that under these, the other gel polishes, and then use this on the top. And I think that's going to be a real amazing combination um, for getting it off quick, smart. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> That one's definitely just does not want to come off at all. But anyway, that's my review for EC Cosmetics Magic Gel Remover. Thanks for sending that out. Um, like I said, I'm just going to really enjoy using it. I'm going to be enjoying using my gel polishes again without having to worry about how I'm going to get it off. And um, don't forget my $1 off co coupon code I've got for you, which is Manisha M. And I'll have direct links and everything for you down in the description box below. And I'll leave a list of all the gel polishes that I've used as well so apart from that ladies if you've enjoyed the video if you'd like to see more from me just um, subscribe to my youtube channel it is free to do so and i hope you'll have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are bye for now